Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's <clears throat> um, Stardust Stardust reading or Starseed reading or <laughs> I don't even remember what the title of this reading is that I have in my shop um, because I had a Stardust, I had a Starseed um, and then I just got the Star Child Tarot in the mail so I'm going to use that deck on my client. Um, so let's just dive right in so we're gonna do we're gonna do this a little bit differently from my stardust reading um, because I'm gonna do a kind of a blend of this one plus another question that my client had and um, so it's gonna be kind of like a, a twist <clears throat> so if you are interested in the stardust reading um, it's done a little bit differently I have a, a specific spread for it but like I said because I'm doing this different for my client um, it's gonna be different <laughs> so the stardust reading is completely different from the what I'm gonna be doing right now so just keep that in mind if you want to purchase one and yeah so we're gonna get just we're just gonna jump right into it um, my client graduated um, and they are looking to taking their spiritual path to another level. And um, I must say, when I was tuning into your energy, um, I feel that you were right on the money on, on that. Um, I truly feel like your path is growing. It is expanding. Um, this accomplishment with school was a plus. It puts a lot of knowledge under you. Um, but there is a growth spurt, I'm feeling, with your spiritual connection. The way that you feel your sixth sense, your um, third eye, your ability to connect to spirit, your ability to see things um, is going to now expand because you're going to be given this freedom. Your awareness is free now from the confinement of studying you were studying, you were doing a lot of, a lot of your devotion was towards school. Now that you have that done, it is a major accomplishment. It almost leaves space for your soul to expand and spiritually is the next step. So as far as your business goes, I will say if you are ready to connect yourself to this next level, you're going to be very successful. And that is completely channeled intuition. Um, I was sitting down just thinking about it as I was choosing the decks for your reading. Um, you are going to be majorly one-upped. <laughs> it's just like a new, a new phase for you. Um, so the decks I'm gonna be working with, I have the Star Child Tarot. It's a brand new deck. I got it back. <laughs> I actually sold the first edition and um, I wanted it back. So, well, not I want, I didn't want the first edition back, but I wanted the Star Child Tarot back. So, I got it. I'm also going to be working with the color deck um, because you work with auras. And so, I felt like that would be perfect for you because of color. And I'm also going to be pulling from the Arcana Astrology of our um, the Arcana of Astrology. <laughs> this Oracle deck is beautiful um, to get some vibes from your current energy, as well as looking into this upward battle because you have a new mountain to climb, my dear. So let's see what your general energy. And then this is the compendium of constellations because it is, of course, the stardust reading. So we need to have our star-inspired decks. Um, okay, so I'm not going to be reading from the spread that I created. I am just going to go intuitively into this. I think that's the best way. So we got Ursa Minor or the Little Dipper and this is Learn and I love it because you will never stop learning. Just because you graduated and you accomplished some major goals, you will never stop learning. Your spiritual path is meant to constantly be shifting and changing and that is something that you need to get comfortable with. 
learning constantly, leveling up, um, challenging your mind, trusting the new sensations that you have coming through you, trusting your spiritual connection, um, and just understanding that the further you dive into this and take your business to the next level, the deeper you will go spiritually. You're just going to be opening up new avenues for yourself. So I love that with the learn card. Let's just pull two, a couple more. I feel like pulling them. We got Mus or Muska, Muska, respond. You are answering the call. The call is there. Um, I love that it looks similar to the Little Dipper kind of, you know, with the square and then we have the handle. So this one is respond. You are answering. You are being guided to answer the call, <laughs> the spiritual call. It's like, okay, spirit is saying, We've waited for you to get through school. Now that you are done, it's time that we take the center stage. It is time to focus on your purpose. And we have Apis or Apis, and this is Imagine. I love it. So Imagine, it's being fed. I love that there's like the array of color. It's kind of like your, your, your purpose, working with auras, working with spiritual connection, getting people to be familiar with the spiritual realm because not everybody has the gift to see or they I don't like to call it a gift but the ability to see their aura or to see their spiritual energy and you do you have that gift you have that ability to do that and I feel like imagine is bringing what people think is imaginative or fake or not you know rational it's not reality and making it a reality getting your clients more comfortable with being aware of what their spiritual makeup looks like okay so let's look at the energies of this of this path taking your business to the next level to answer the call we got earth cancer and vesta so <laughs> Earth is in the present state, okay? Earth is everything right now. So where your focus should be is in the present. Stop worrying about the past or don't look into the past. Don't look into the way that you used to conduct your business. You are now in the present. You are freshly graduated. You are very hungry to get your business going again, to start um, you know, doing your thing. But you also need to be present with yourself. If you have to set boundaries for yourself or your business, if you have to set only limited amounts of orders that you will take for a certain month, that is very important. That is all earth energy. Being grounded for yourself is very important. And earth is also symbolizing of the pentacle suit in the tarot. And I know you're familiar with the tarot. And pentacles is earth Earth energy, it's grounding, it is money, it's finances, it's materialism. So I do feel like when you approach your business on a materialistic approach or money approach, you are becoming more familiar, becoming more comfortable with receiving money, but also setting some boundaries for yourself. You don't want to overwhelm yourself too soon. So I would say setting some limitations to how many appointments or orders you will take if you're doing the online thing, how many orders will you allow in a month of time versus if you are doing this also in person, um, you know, how many clients are you going to see in a week or in a two week time frame, that kind of thing. Um, cancer in the, in the core, in the center. Cancer's energy is very emotional. It's very, you're emotionally connected. Your spiritual makeup is changing, okay? So it's not just psychically, um, it's emotionally. You're going to start to really feel the vibes and feel the colors and the sensations of your clients. This is going to take a toll on you. Um, as a cancer, this is going to allow you to connect with your clients on a more intimate level, which will one up your business, but it will also require you to be more um, paying close attention to giving yourself some time to relax or to come down, <laughs> to come down from this, you know, spiritual connection. So making sure you dedicate, maybe it's a certain day out of the week or a couple days out of the month where you do absolutely no readings or you don't take any orders, you have days off for yourself. That is going to be very important. And emotionally connecting is also emotionally filtering. You need to learn to filter out 
the way that you connect let them go as quickly as they come in we are sponges but we are not meant to soak everything up and keep it we have to let things go out as well so i struggle with this too but that's what i'm seeing with the cancer now vesta i gotta actually look up vesta in my little keyword book because i'm not familiar with vesta um but let's see Vesta, Vesta, where are you? Oh, Vesta is the keeper. Devotion, yeah. <laughs> devoted, being devoted to your path, devoted to your purpose. Spirit wants you to really grasp and embrace who you are and who you are becoming. Don't be afraid of it, you know, embrace it. You are no longer just looked at as the student in the university. You are now a spiritual um teacher or a guide or a connector or a reader or a counselor or an advisor however you want to um call yourself but your next path and the next thing that you should be putting a lot of your dedication to is being invested and devoted to your path and that is where things are going to get very um serious for you because you're going to actually have the time the energy to do so. So let's pull some tarot. Oh, <laughs> we have the high priestess, which is beautiful because that completely in a nutshell says you are on point. You are very intuitive. You are so time. It's time for your high priestess vibe to come out. It is time to put away and say good night to the student, to the learner. You are now the high priestess energy. You own everything. I love that. What a what a way to start your reading. <laughs> nine of crystals so lots of um abundance a lot of embodiment coming it's like you're very connected with the spirit realm okay you're connected to extraterrestrial realm whatever anything that is there within you know the astral you see it you feel it the seven of swords you really got to be um on top of it be honest with yourself and understand that there's things that you might have to sacrifice. I feel like this is a sacrifice card for you. Sacrificing, you know, maybe certain belief systems or sacrificing certain ways of doing things or doing your business. You're going to be approaching it from a different aspect, a different angle than maybe you did before or the way that some of your colleagues do their business. You're going to be you're going to stand out and I feel like that's also why you're going to flourish a lot because you're going to stand out. We have the Six of Swords, really important for you not to get caught up in things. Don't get caught up in the mental. Don't get caught up in doubt, okay? Um, Six of Swords is also the card of the pathway is clearing for you to escape or are you purposely choosing to leave? And I do feel like it's you walking away from some of the paths that you may thought you have once wanted to embark on but it no longer fulfills the purpose that you have in within you. You feel like you are destined, you were meant to be doing something different. So that in itself is strong. <laughs> um, being able to say, I choose to walk away from this. And then we have temperance. So having balance within yourself, balance with your clients, balance with your daily. So you have responsibilities that will never go away, but you also are being balanced within your spiritual life. Like I said, taking the time, the days off that you need to do you. Um, don't take in more um, uh, appointments or clients than you know you can handle, that sort of thing. Um, temperance is also showing me maybe you fear taking the, the big leap with this path. Maybe you are a little bit afraid of going 100%, you know, so maybe you have one foot in and one foot out. But you are being called to trust that this is the path you were meant to be on. Um, it's now time to take it to the next level. We have creativity. I love it. Your solar plexus chakra. Um, I mean, sorry, your sacral chakra with the orange. Um, but your creativity, it's time for you to bring out some new ideas. You've been having some stuff boiling under within you. It's now time for you to bring it out and actually, um, make something of these inspirations, make them a reality. You have some really good ideas under your belt. We have allow love, allowing the, the emotions to flow. Like I said, allow love, I feel, goes hand in hand with the cancer card. You're really going to be emotionally connecting with your clients on another level. Um, 
and you're going to get deep. And I feel like a lot of your clients will be pleased to see this because they already love what you do, but you're really going to go in deep with them. Um, and this may bring out some stuff that maybe clients don't want to tap into or they didn't think they needed to, but you are really bringing out, you're bringing your, to your clients the ability to see their spiritual makeup that they can't see. And so they're going to trust in you and that's like an intimate exchange. And then we have harmony. <laughs> this is definitely your path, my love. You are meant to do this. If you are afraid of taking your business to the next level, just know you are meant to take the call. You are meant to do this. You went to school, yes. You graduated, yes. But there is nothing wrong with taking on a spiritual, a spiritual approach to your knowledge. Use the knowledge that you have from school, but also approach your business. Um, because you love what you do, you know, you, you know how to do it well. Now, let's do from the, the, the mountain standpoint, you know, the struggles with taking your spirituality to the next level. Because we, we pretty much established that you were on the path. That, yes, you were right. You know, your, your spirituality is changing. You're shifting. We've already established that this is the path you're supposed to be on. The cards definitely showed it. You're in high priestess energy right now. But let's look at the struggles. Let's look at the upward battle because we have to be realistic. There is going to be some challenges. So let's look at it. So let me ask Spirit to present to me and to my client the challenges with taking their spiritual approach to their business. We have the universe, the magician, and nine of crystals. So I feel like it's, you have a lot of expectation. You have a lot, of, you're dealing with the universe. You're dealing with not just a person, okay? It is the whole universe. It is the the astral realm. It is spirituality. It is your psychic abilities. It's so much more than just your client sitting in front of you. You are making that connection to things that they can't see. So they are trusting in you to be the voice of what they can't see. Do you, you understand? That's why people put so much trust in us as spiritual readers and, and whatnot, because we have the we have access to see that and we trust what we're receiving. Um, that could be a little bit scary for you. I could see that as a challenge for you um, because perhaps maybe you doubt, am I really seeing what I'm feeling or am I really experiencing this? You know, the magician is also being creative and manifesting something out of nothing. You know, you're building your business from the ground up. You have been, you've done it, but it's also taking it to the next step. And then there's also judgment on others. You know, people who won't understand, well, why did you spend so much time doing school if you're going to do this stuff? You know, trust your call. You are already being called. It's just up to you to answer it. And we have nine of crystals again. You are the creator. You bring everything full circle. You understand you are a receiver and a giver at the same time. Okay. You are basically just the messenger. We are like a telephone. <laughs> we take the call for our clients, you know. Um... But as challenges for the magician, I feel you may be challenged with manifesting, you, okay? You might be manif challenged with manifesting, challenged with the universe, perhaps challenged with trusting everything that you're receiving. Um, you'll never know if you don't try. And then I see with heart healing coming up and speak your truth, being able to voice what you're receiving, heart healing is a lot of the clients you're going to be helping are going to be going through emotional breaks. A lot of hard stuff. Um, it's a lot of responsibility to be a healer, to help those who are going through the worst. But a lot of your clients are searching for answers. They're searching for something to hold on to. So um, it is a big responsibility, but it is, it, I do see it as another level for you. And I know you are more than more than capable of doing this. Um, the cards show it is your path. You are high priestess energy now. I want you to learn to embrace that. <laughs> we got Muska or Muska again. Respond. The spirit wants you to answer the call. They know you hear them. <laughs> it's like spirit is saying, I know you hear me. Answer my call. We want you to connect on another level with us. We are ready to work with you, please, you know. So I do feel that. Um, 
as far as like the journey taking it on I think it's gonna it's gonna feel more organic than anything um, I feel like you are building up much doubt but you're not gonna see half of it we have Aries yeah Aries is like just take action go for it fire energy okay and then we have Neptune spiritual connection your spirituality so Aries and Neptune water and water and fire you know they cancel each other out but they're polar opposites but we're we're actually going to be entering Aries in um in like a maybe two more weeks or so and so that might be a clue maybe perhaps when Aries season starts when it is literally the astrological astrology new year um that's maybe when you should start really revamping and boom, put yourself out there, you know? Maybe that's when you're going to start seeing things happen. I know you have a birthday coming up. So, and I don't know if your birthday is in Aries season or not. I think it is in Aries season. So, maybe that's another pinpoint for you to know, um, you know, around the time of your birthday will be the time when you should really put yourself out there, you know? Revamp yourself, rename yourself. And then, of course, Neptune energy is spiritual. So it's just it's just basically saying, Spirit is saying, like, your path is spiritual. This is your calling. This is what you should be focused and devoted to. I love it. It makes me so happy. <laughs> it makes me happy because um, I love, I personally love your services. I love what you do. Um, I've had more than enough readings from you to know that you are completely capable of doing what you do. You are very good at it. Um, and I can vouch for you, you know, so I'm excited. I am excited to see the next level of your path because I completely 100% support it. So before we end the reading, let's pick up on a couple more things. Some advice from spirit. The lovers, lovey here, you know, I know you have a lovey. They're your supporter. They will support your decision. They will help you. Trust in them. The seven of crystals, okay? Be one with yourself. I feel like she's she's definitely one with herself. She's, she's feeling out spirit. She's got that aura here, that glow. She's got all of that. She's one. It's just you connecting and reconnecting with this new level of who you are. And six of crystals. I feel like Six of Crystals to me is like you, this was you before, and this is you after. You're moving up, moving on to the next stage, this next stage. Constantly having the crystals, the orbs around you. We have it here too, and we have it here with the nine. So crystal energy, you know, work with the, the crystal energy. I feel like the orbs are just being surrounded is, is symbolic for spirit or your guides are around you constantly. Um, so I see that as well. Lovers is like understand that, you're, that your lover isn't going to let you sink, that they support you and they, they will help you. Okay. Sometimes we have to just take the leap of faith and just do it. I 100% feel you are going to be so successful. Um, I don't have any doubt about that. <laughs> I just think that you are very much going to be very busy for the first few months um, as you get used to your new schedule, you, you're you, new, used to your, the new way that you're going to be doing your readings, but you are going to be amazing. And finally, we have femininity. Own yourself. Lots of clients will be women. Lots of clients will be getting in touch with their more feminine energy, which is, you know, your emotions. Like we said with the cancer card, you're going to be emotionally connecting with your clients on an intimate level. Um, owning your power and owning that you can be just as successful as any man. Okay, so that's another little thing to throw out there. <laughs> um, do I think that you should go for it? Yes. Do I think you will be successful? Yes. Um, and when do I see this taking place? I, like I said, Aries season, which is only a few weeks away. Okay. Um, and also the, the action that you should take is full force because Aries is just, is, is there to swallow everything up. They are there to consume. So do it. Just do it. Don't think. Um, 
I think it's going to be a really good thing for you. And I'm really excited to see what happens and what takes place and what you choose to do. So this concludes your reading, my love. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions about the cards or, um, you know, anything else, please, please, please do not hesitate to um, email me. Let me know and we could chit chat about it. And I hope that you received some answers and that you just received whatever it is that you needed to move forward. I know that you're going to be great and you're going to be successful at it no matter what. Um, and I can't wait to see what happens. So thank you so much. And I will see you soon and talk to you soon. And anyone who's watching, this is the Stardust reading. Like I said, I did it a little bit differently because my, of my clients' needs. Um, but if you want a Stardust reading, basically it will be the same cards. Um, and there is a certain spread I work with. And we, we focus more so on, like I said, your spiritual path which is what this reading was about, but also um, like who you were at the point of your creation. So it's a really cool spread, um, a really cool reading. And for those of you guys who just always wanted to know what was your purpose at the point of creation, that is the reading to go for. So to my client, I wish you all the best. And everyone else, thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.